What's going on YouTube? It is Tuesday, February 16th, running into almost 8 o'clock here. And today, I'm going to do a follow-up to the uh, Tilray video I did on Saturday. If you caught that video, I speculated a little bit about what was going to happen with Tilray. Um, I'm running on the background here, my Weeble app. And this is a little bit of a, a faster time lapse than average, but as you can see, we hit a solid $34, $35 high today on Tilray. Uh, market open was at about 30 bucks. And that's kind of a realistic time area of where I thought this was gonna actually end up. I was holding $5,000 worth of this stock in Cash App on Friday. Market closed, I was down $600. And uh, I held it over the weekend. And going into tomorrow's earnings, um, you know, my plan was to, to maybe throw a swing trade in it and make a couple bucks and buy the dip. And honestly, I should have bought the dip this morning when it, this thing peaked at about 30, 36 bucks, put me up about $400 over on my overall um, play on this, which was actually up $1,000 for the day, which was pretty incredible. Um, I didn't, I was hoping it might, uh, take a little ride up a little bit higher and it ended up going back down a good bit and I rode it out until pretty much market close before I sold my position and netted about 240 bucks on top of my investment so I was happy with that you know that's um easy easy money right there and the reason I didn't let it go overnight is because I wasn't really that confident in the pre-market and also the stock has been pretty volatile it's gone up and down a good bit. I mean, today it went up and down 10, 20%. And if I had funds available, I could have capitalized on that swing. You know, a swing of 10% on five grand is 500 bucks. So I look at it from that point of view. I will play this again tomorrow leading up into earnings. I don't know how confident I'm going to be in the stock after hours tomorrow. I think... There is a good potential that the earnings from a lot of other stocks that I've, I've followed on the earnings curve, that they do send a tank the day after. Um, people sell off hard. It could very well ride up into the 40s, 50s tomorrow. It could also sit in the mid to high 20s again. You know, it's after hours play right now isn't looking too bad. It's sitting at about, um, I'll pull it up here real quick. On my phone so I can look at it here it's sitting at 3415 after hours so had I held it I would have lost out on 1.39 percent that's really not that big a deal um, but the you know the analysts when you look at a bunch of these stocks the, the price targets are all over the map so keep that in mind you know one one I have a price target of fifty dollars the other one I have a price target of twelve dollars so you know kind of keep those with a grain of salt but i did want to do a follow-up to tilray because i got a lot of good comments of guys who were holding it who were thinking about trading it um bulls and bears both sides you know i think uh one of the guys on there was was saying that i, sh I should mention that while it did hit you know two hundred dollars close to it was also trading at three dollars well we can agree that this stock's probably never going to go back to three dollars but a realistic number for this is probably where it's at 35 to 40 dollar range or even say 25 to 35 dollar range after the merger if the world starts opening up and we've get more legalization and other other countries are, are allowing import of, of mar marijuana or medical marijuana or even rumors of other companies using the CBD from these these growers you know this could be a, a very big play um, but keep in mind when you watch this, there was a lot of times today where panic sell would have been, um, you know, pretty prevalent amongst new traders. When you saw a dip like what's happening right now on that chart, you're like, ah, I'm losing out. You know, it drops eight, eight, nine percent. So hold on, uh, hold on to your positions. You know, if you see this, this trend, this upward trend at the end of the day, it's probably going to end up in your favor and, you know, be careful in, in holding them overnight. But I was pretty confident in what I was seeing today. It never really dropped below 30. It held the line. 
It traded sideways for a good bit during the day. And then after lunchtime, it really kind of took off. So I'm pretty happy with this play. I look forward to trading this play tomorrow. And I'm going to make another quick video here in just a second over some other plays that I saw go down today that were just unbelievable. Um, so if you like this video and you've got Tilray, I think tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. I think it's uh, definitely going to be a, a day where you can net some more profits on this and make a couple more dollars. Um, I would caution to the wind holding Tilray after hours tomorrow. Their earnings report comes out after hours. And if you cannot sell in the after hours market, I highly recommend you be very cautious on how much you keep after hours. If you have Weeble, if you have uh, Robin Hood, even till six o'clock, okay, or TD Ameritrade or these other guys that trade after hours, by all means, set your sell limit and let that sucker fly. Don't think this is going to go to a hundred bucks. That's insane. Um, so, you know, be, be realistic. Set yourself a target and always remember this. If you sold today and you made $300 and then after hours you realize you could have made $450, just remember, you could have also lost all of that profit in the same trade by holding on too long. And anytime you make money in the stock market on a trade, it's money you didn't have. Anytime you're in the green, that's a win. Regardless of if you leave a little bit on the table, it's okay. We can come back tomorrow, maybe go get some of that back. So keep that in mind. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me some comments. Let me know how you guys feel about this stock or some other ones. I'm going to throw up another video here in just a second and go over some of those other plays that I saw today.